So I'm gonna share with you the many different things that you can do while under self-quarantine. TikTok. Cut your pubes! It's me, Isa, and welcome back to Baihana. It's been about two weeks since we've all been advised to social distance and to just stay at home. I wouldn't say that it's been the best experience or that I'm particularly enjoying it, but I've gotten through it and I'm just hopeful. I don't consider the lockdown as a vacation. I think of this lockdown as my responsibility as a responsible community member. In the last two weeks, our lives have drastically changed, but I really think in times like this, it's really important to have a grasp on our lives and have that sense of accomplishment or productivity or just like structure. My first piece of advice is to create a routine. Whether you've started working at home or if you're taking your classes online, creating a structure or creating a routine is actually really effective. So what I like to do is create a routine as if I were actually going to an office or going to school. For me, I wake up at a certain time, I have my coffee, cook brunch, and then I'll take a bath. And kind of act as if you were actually going to school or going to work. It's also important to create a working or a studying your routine so that means still having breaks like you would normally at your job or at school like having recess having lunch breaks at the right time and setting a time for when you actually stop working if you work from home or if you study at home you kind of end up overworking yourself or getting really lazy either or of the two honestly my next piece of advice is to create a working space that's conducive for work or for studying now I have this room where you usually find me shooting and this is our guest room and I've converted this into a mini office now I like to have this little corner of the house because it allows me to distance myself from other people and have like the time that I need for myself the next thing that you can do at home is to clean your house well me and my my husband have been under self-quarantine we've done a lot of home renovations and so have our neighbors I do have a couple of tips when it comes to cleaning the house and my first tip is to not mix liquids and I'm going to flash a graphic on your screens of the many liquids that you should not mix when cleaning our house I like to start with sections I'll usually start with a room and then I'll make my way out to the salas. A clean house means lesser chances of us getting sick, so now's the perfect time to clean your houses, guys. I also think it's really important for us to check the expiration dates on our food. The last thing that we want to happen is for someone in the house to eat something in the fridge that's expired that could lead them going to the hospital. So if you haven't checked the expiration dates on your food lately, make sure that you do that and get rid of the expired food as soon as possible. The the next thing that I suggest that you try out while under self-quarantine is to start a new hobby. I definitely believe that the time that we have been given should be used to improving ourselves, whether it's by starting a new hobby, revisiting an old passion, or just learning something new in general. If you like to read books, now is the perfect time to start reading the books that you got at Big Bad Wolf that you haven't actually read yet. I definitely have a lot. If you don't have any books on hand right now, you can visit a website called Scribd. They are basically an online library and they're actually offering their services for free for for an entire month. If you've always been curious about cooking or baking, I think that now would be the perfect time to actually hop onto that passion or that new hobby. In recent times, I've been cooking a lot more. I've actually really enjoyed cooking lately. That's surprising coming from someone like me who really doesn't like to cook. I truly believe that we can never stop learning. And if you're someone who doesn't really have a lot on their plate right now, learning something new is definitely something that I would consider. If you don't know where to start, there are multiple platforms where you can take online classes. I would suggest checking out Masterclass because they are also offering their services for free for the next 30 days. Now, none of these are sponsored. I really just wanted to share them with you. I also love listening to podcasts, whether they're for entertainment or for learning purposes. If you want to check out my podcast, it's it's a talk. You can find that in the description below. There are so many podcasts out there where you can learn about life, about philosophy, and there are even podcasts that are like ebooks or audiobooks or teleseries or drama series that we listen to on the radio, which is something that you should definitely take into consideration if you're someone who is like bored at home. I know we're all stuck at home, but sometimes the world can still get 
pretty loud, especially when you're spending a lot of time on social media. If you're someone like me who gets really anxious scrolling through their phones, reading all these news, I find it really helpful to social media distance myself. You know, just turn off your phones or just not spend so much time on social media. And also, meditating is something that you should really consider, especially when you don't know how to manage those feelings of fear and anxiety. If you're not someone who's used to meditating, I find that doing things that are relaxing to be really helpful as well. I personally like to write, I like to journal, I like to blog, and just being able to get in touch with my feelings, acknowledge them, and figure out what to do with these feelings has been really useful for me. Since we're home a lot now, our lifestyles can become very sedentary, which means we're constantly lying down on the bed or sitting down on the couch or sitting on your chair. We're just getting too comfortable. So I suggest that you also include exercise in your routine. I like to constantly stretch throughout the day, but you can also take classes which are offered online. I'll be honest with you, TikTok has been my form of exercise lately and I kid you not, pamaulan gihapon mo TikTok. Follow me on TikTok. <laughs> Another tip of mine is to still spend time with your friends and family. I know that we are being advised to social distance ourselves from friends and family, but you can still social distance yourself without actually having to isolate yourself completely. I find it very comforting to be able to talk to my friends and family, and I've been able to do that a lot through video chat. So whether it's Skype or it's through video calls like Facebook Messenger or whatever platform you like, I find that really comforting. I've also noticed that a lot of our favorite celebrities and personalities have been going online a lot and I think that's a really great effort to keep everyone at home and to make things less lonely. We're all going through a hard time right now and I think that the least we can do is to spread awareness and positivity. Try dropping in on your friends, telling them that you miss them or asking them how they are. That will go a long way. Simple positive quotes or friendly reminders will really help boost the morale in our community and I highly suggest that you guys do that. If you have the privilege to give back to your community, a small amount will go a long way. There are so many online initiatives that you can help out in right now if you have the capacity to. A simple donation, if you can, will go a long way. But if you find that you're unable to do so financially, I definitely think that the next best option is to spread that information because someone else in your circle might be able to donate and any and every donation definitely is welcomed especially at this time. And lastly, take a break. Sometimes the world can be so overwhelming and I definitely know how it feels. Do whatever is healthy for you but whatever you do, make sure that you do it at home. Now I've already shared a couple of things that you can do at home. I'm also going to share with you things that you should not do while at home. And the first thing to not do while you're at home under self-quarantine is to not panic. I find that panicking leads to a lot of unnecessary things and feelings. Try not to panic and manage your feelings as much as possible. Do not share fake news. And if you find someone who is sharing fake news, the best thing to do is to correct them. Now, if you're on the receiving end of news and you're not sure if it's fake or not, my two rules when it comes to deciphering fake news is to number one, check the date. Number two, to verify the source if it comes from a reliable news source. I find it really important for us to double check if news is true or not. Unless you're able to verify news, don't spread it. Don't be an internet troll. I know that we're all bored and there's really nothing to do and sometimes the lack of productivity can bring out the worst in us but please guys, don't be an internet troll. Do not cut your back. No, actually, it's your hair. You can do whatever you want with it. If you must cut your bangs, do it. Just don't go out of your house, okay? Stay at home. Cut your bangs if you have. Cut your pubes if you have to. And most of all, guys, don't forget to be a good person. It's hard for everyone. We're all lost. We're all in a weird place. But it's always important to keep in mind to be good brothers and sisters to everyone in our community.
I hope that this video helps you. If you need someone to talk to, you can always feel free to message me on all my socials. I'm Issa Fees. I always try my best to reply, so if you need someone to talk to, feel free to send me a message or I also go on live sessions to keep people company so you can also join my live sessions or you could also join the Baihana community group where we have a lot of amazing interesting discussions let's have discussions guys because healthy discussions are always welcome discussions I'll catch you guys in the next video let me know what you guys have been doing for fun nowadays if there's something that you think I should learn make sure to leave them in the comment box below and also don't forget guys Knowledge is power and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye